three, scumbag. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Yo, what's up, guys? Eiffel, 65 Bluefin, aka E65 Bluefin, here with another modded. Um, I wouldn't say a modded, it's just basically uh, GTA. Well, the telescope glitch is a modded glitch, so I guess another modded outfit, I guess. So this time, it's RoboCop. I did Robo Warrior a few, I don't know how long ago. And the last time I did a freaking modded uh, video was, well, yeah, 4th of July. <laughs> I'm old. Anyway, guys, um, before this uh, video starts, how about you uh, slap that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that bell. Or, dead or alive, you're coming with me. Hit that bell. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, guys. I, I just, I've been watching too much RoboCop lately, and I just got the stupid idea of making an outfit. This is as close as I can come to get it. And as you can see, I also and also did like the um, two the newer RoboCop movie mixed with the old. So I see the red lights and everything. So pretty much where you want to get started is basically. For this whole modded outfit glitch, um, well, let me just get to a store first, and I will show you what to do. <laughs> Should have probably done that, but I wanted to do, uh, you don't want to hear it, never mind. Okay, let's just get straight into this, this will be a quick video. Okay. So first you want to do is, well, go to a near store. What you want to do is pretty much go into the top section and get uh, Unity Top, which is gray. The gray better vest or the black. Depend on your choice if you want the old the Robocop or the new one. It's up to you. I suggest use the gray because to like the extreme strike vest. For like Unity Vest, because I tried all the others, it's just it doesn't look right. The only because of the shoulder pads, if like if any of these other armors had the shoulder pads that was in a gray color, it probably would look better, but it doesn't. So, mm. um, once you get that, pretty much the pants are pretty much uh, easy. You just go and get them from uh, where are the pants again? Jesus Christ, I haven't played this game in another three months or so that's what happens when you hop on destiny anyway um what you want to do is get the um, unity i think it was unity pants no it was uh team pants yeah uh charcoal combat pants is what you want and then well after that you want to go to the um, access accessory aisle say if you're here discount store you want to go over here If it lets me and you want to go to gloves and well black tech gloves it's called so go ahead and grab put that on slap that on then after you do that you want to pretty much save your outfit over here and yeah so after you save your outfit what you want to do is pretty much go to hats go to riot helmet and look for the gray riot it's all the way at the bottom so um after you pass the white, you'll see the gray. So, after you get that gray, you just want to buy it if you don't have it. Just buy it. That way, you can do the telescope glitch. And after that, you want to, um, let me actually just get a hat on. That way, I can do this for you guys again because, well... Yeah, we'll just buy this and put no hat. Okay, after you bought the right helmet, uh, you want to go to the mask store, which is um, over here. Right now I'm in a public session, but this guy's just doing his own thing, so leave me be. I'm not a huge tryhard in GTA. I'm a guy that gives you money and shit, so. So you want to head towards, um, god damn It's hard to drive, Jesus Christ. So 
So on, why we were like on the way there, guys? Let me talk to let me talk to you about like why I chose a motorcycle. I know in the old RoboCop movies they were driving like a police cruiser, but you can't buy one and paint it black. So it, I mean, I could steal one, but odds are it'll probably be broken in the process. So and I don't really want to do that for you guys because I like the give you high quality content. So that's why I chose like the new RoboCop movie with the motorcycle. I thought this motorcycle was a good candidate, especially with the window and the way it stands right now. You could choose the one without the drag, but it just it's slow as hell. You, you're better off getting the high expensive one, which is close to a million. So that's just my opinion, though. So next, when you get to the mass store, you want to go to Techno, Tactical, whatever the fuck it's called. You know, DJ, I haven't played this in so long. You want to go to, um, nope. You want to go to one of the ballistics. Um, the one I used was, um, I think it was, no, it was this one. The black carbon ballistic is what you want to buy for the red lights and, sh and crap. Then after you buy the, why did I just do that? Uh, okay. Oh, the guy just left. Okay. Hold up, guys. <laughs> Haven't done so long. Uh, nope. I mean, you could do the black mono ballistic, but it, you need the red eyes to make it look better. So that's why you buy the black carbon ballistic. And after you buy that, you want to head to the nearest telescope, which I need to get some money out of my account. You could go to your apartment, but... Actually, it would be easier to use in your apartment, but... Um, due to the fact of Rockstar Games trying to like worry about certain glitches going out... I'm going to do it at the telescopes on the beach because for you guys, you're my fans and you deserve the best quality content and the ways for not to get in trouble, so. Excuse me, sir. Okay, so... On the beach, do do do, going on the beach, do do do. Oh, okay, so here we are, Del Piro Pier. So you want to like basically go to the nearest telescope, which is all the way at the end. But I mean, there are some over this way. If you just go down, you go to these ones. But I'm just gonna use the ones where I can look out and see because I like a view. So. You want to dodge the people in the process without hitting them or you get the cops on you, and that's not a fun time, trust me. Okay, after you get here, you want to go to the nearest telescope and, like, pretty much press right on your D-pad very fast while running towards the telescope. And then, as soon as you stop, like, don't move away from the telescope. If you don't go into it and your helmet's off, then it worked. Pretty much you want to go to... Interactive menu, go to style, go to accessories, and you want to go to helmets and put in the helmet you bought, which was the um, Gray Riot. And there it is. And there it is, Robocop. I do have a pair, you could, you could have the option of putting a parachute on him. But that's only if you really, really want to. But I don't really want to, so. Pretty much you want to go to the nearest store or, like, fast travel to your house. Uh, don't fast travel to your house. That's probably a bad idea, but I'm not sure if it will. You just want to go to the nearest closet where you can save your outfit. So we're going to head back to the store. And we're going to save this as RoboCop for you guys. And then win the video. Ooh, too fast, too fast, too fast, too furious. Okay, so after you pretty much get off your ride, you want to go to this... 
This, I, this woman's probably the worst out of all of them. So you want to go to the clerk and just save your outfit. Since I already have, since I already done this, basically it's going to say RoboCop. After you save that, you're pretty much your modded outfit for RoboCop is done. Now, if you wanted to know where all the locations for the accessories is, well, that last location I showed you is by the checkout corner, but this one, right by the three jackets. These are accessories, so that's how you get the other gloves. That's pretty much does it, guys. Um, if you enjoyed the video, do hit a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be informed next video. Um, so, guys, until then, guys, I will see you later. Robocop is out. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Goodbye.